for the second type of grass we're gonna play a little bit with the different settings to get like a very tall grass or blades and the very uh, thin okay so uh, just to precise for the first type of grass I just want to get the density or the number of blades very down uh, like 250 uh, it would be very nice okay so for the other the other one here I would take the length like 20 and the, the number of blades like 50 and then go down to the taper uh, to taper control or the taper amount and just get it to 100 percent and here it is we got like our high grass so I'm just hide the icon for the icon for the two uh, this one here I'll just uh, add some drop okay so we have some variation here uh, adding uh, some variation okay uh, that's that's it and I want another type of grass uh, it's the third one uh, and the last uh, this will be sort of clumps so like uh, if you walked on uh, on some grass so this is this is gonna be our base okay so I just let the height as it is w which means uh, 10 okay and then I'm um, just scroll down to uh, here the tilt okay and I'm not tilted down okay until it goes complete almost flat and maybe add some drop okay so we have something like this okay get the tilt a bit high okay so we get something like this pretty much like that and you activate clumps okay and this would be our last model okay uh, this is very easy and uh, simple to do as you can see in few clicks uh, the density here is to 250 and uh, we are almost done here I want to add some taper effect okay so this is what we wanted to do now go on top and take a plane pretty big okay something like this and I want to take everything out uh, every type of grass out of the plane okay um, organize a bit my workspace and I'll hide this chimp here okay so make it a bit bigger like this right okay and I'm not move this one these two here and now let's start painting uh, we're gonna use advanced the painter tool uh, that you can find on uh, scriptspot.com and you simply type here advanced painter and you'll get it so for the first time you open the advanced painter you'll have pretty much an image like that or a user interface like this maybe you'd have the grass as default okay this will give you the ability to create some blades of grass etc so you can easily create uh, your grass some blades you will not have I think the ability to get like this, a pitch like that but I'm not sure okay so just try it play with it I've never used it uh, actually I always use grass medic because it's I think best for me so it gives me all all what I want so I use it so you can play with that you have also I always play with the randomizer and scatter this is the two uh, options I use the most in advanced painter so here we're gonna pick the randomizer okay so uh, what we're gonna do is just pick our base which is grassomatic number three okay and then we're gonna choose the cloning as being in instance okay so not copies uh, so if you want uh, maybe let's just copy I think it's gonna be better to create some randomness etc okay so for here we have the lineup direction if you want to have some aligning uh, etc the align to strokes uh, this very simple uh, parameters you have the orientation the scale etc also it is this option here which is very good for example, uh, you, uh, suppose that you created uh, five or six trees and you've got like uh, five or six materials and you want uh, each material to be distributed randomly uh, on these six trees. You can simply 
activate this post uh, clone script and type any code you want. Okay, uh, very useful. Okay, so I'll pick this one here. Uh, I select my plane and uh, press Q, and then I'll paint. So I'm gonna focus especially to having a high dense mesh right here. Okay, so this is the most important and then I just do some grass here on the surrounding parts as you can see here just, just to believe or to fake some environment okay that's alright and then I'm gonna just do some okay okay the first one and then I'm gonna paint again so just to have some density okay we don't want it to be too much dense because we're gonna have like the impression of faking you'll see what I'm talking about in a bit so I'm gonna pick again and paint again oops sorry select my plane paint and here we're gonna add some height grass okay and let's check how it does actually look once we get onto it. Uh, yeah, for example, that's what we have. And as you can see, the more dense you have and less variation you've got, this one it looks that you want to simulate something. This why I was talking about density. Uh, okay, so. Uh, I'll paint again uh, some things. Oops, sorry. Select the plane and I paint a bit of this. Okay, and clear, pick. I want to add some of these. Okay, so I'll paint. Uh, also, the advanced painter works very well with V ray proxies. So you can easily create proxies of your grass and then distribute them. Uh, there will be no problem, okay? So, a little tutorial or a rapid video on how to create uh, V-Ray proxies, okay? So, uh, there's no problem. Uh, we've got this, uh, once it's done, we just go to top and choose a really uh, suited place for our chumps. I think this one is uh, best, okay? So, I'm gonna just reorient my camera so that you can also select and delete proxies if you want for example here we have too much density so we need to delete a bit of that so we can have some workspace etc okay so just work find a good place to where to put where to put your your mushrooms okay so play with the settings etc okay that's alright I think we just have to put them somewhere get a bit down of the density here uh, also play with the height because I think it's a bit too much put it to like 15 okay that's it. so this is actually the scene that we're gonna use so for the sake of the tutorial if I started to edit this uh, grass etc so it, the tutorial is gonna be very long so uh, I show you what the next step is so we're gonna unhide all okay so we have our mushroom here okay I just create a camera by doing uh, control C okay and then so I can find my place easily and I select my champ bring it there and do scale okay so back to my camera okay I do the scale like that and move it somewhere there and you can easily resize it shrink it make it bigger smaller etc okay so I think our camera is a bit too high. Uh, make it big. Okay, something like this. Okay, and bring it down. Uh, bring it backward. 
Okay. Uh, do some rotation orbit. So you can have pretty much a nice scene like that. Okay, uh, that's the step. You can maybe add another one here by maintaining shift and then move it, moving it just like that and do like some rotation. Okay, so you have this like couple of uh, mushrooms or mother with his son. Okay, that's that's the main idea. So, uh, for sake of story, I'm gonna tweak a little bit the this grass, etc. So I get the best result I can. Okay, see you just after that. So this is the result I come up with. Okay, so uh, it's uh, simple. Uh, I applied it a little bit with the density of our meshes, so it's not as and then as it was, I go, I just uh, lower a bit the drop of our base grass and simply added some 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 taper to the, our height grass, etc. So it's looking pretty nice, I see. I uh, should say. Now, if you have less density or so in your in your environment or your grass here, like that. Uh, we're gonna do a little trick that are gonna solve that, and this is what I used for my image. So get down the height of this grass. Okay, it's a bit high, I think. Okay, so I just take the length down to like 30. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, also, I'll modify. Uh, my type of grass, which is grassomatic too, okay. So to make it a bit dense, okay. So instead of choosing 15, maybe I'll choose. Oops, I uh, sorry, I mischoosed the grass type. Okay, the first one, uh, okay, and I put it to like that. I think it's gonna be better with having more grass. Uh, that's perfect. So my trick consists of using a plane with a texture of high grass. Uh, okay, simply create a plane uh, right here. For example, uh, actually, sorry. Yeah, as you can see, my it's a bit dense. So I'm gonna correct that after. So just create a plane, uh, go to rotation mode, uh, activate uh, snap angle, and then rotate it with 50 degrees, uh, 90 degrees, sorry. And come to your camera like that, and adjust it the the, the best possible you can, so that it faces it faces your camera so switch to local okay like that mm. I think it's pretty much good so I just make it higher and wider okay we got something like this as you can see We can make it okay facing exactly the camera. Switch back to view. All right, uh, that's all right. So I'm gonna delete some of these proxies here. We don't even need. I think like that. It's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna move my plane like this. Go back to my camera and maybe doing some orbit and get it down. Down, 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 down. Let's get these two guys down a bit. Okay. Like this. And that's perfect. Break them to the center of the image and in front of the camera. Like this. Okay. Uh, that's, I think, the best result we can have. 